What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install iOS 7 Beta 2. Now I know there were a ton of questions on my last iOS 7 Beta video, so I'm going to be a little more in depth on this video, and hopefully you guys can get through this entire process without a snag. So the first thing you're going to notice on my iPhone 4 is that I have installed 5.1.1, because my last video was how to downgrade from 6.1.3. So the first thing you're going to want to do is upgrade to 6.1.3 unless you're on an iPhone 5 then you're going to want to upgrade to 6.1.4. So I actually already have the IPSW for 6.1.3. So what I'm going to do is open up iTunes and just so you know I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to download your IPSW if you want to do that or you can just click update just like that simple as that but since I already have it downloaded what I'm gonna do since I'm on a Mac I'm going to hold the option key and I'm gonna click update that way it brings up this window right here and I can point it to my 6.1.3 so I'm just gonna hit open right here and it's gonna say this iTunes will update iPhone to iOS 6.1.3 so go ahead and update that so now I'm gonna be updating to 6.1.3 now if you're on the iPhone 5 again you need to update to 6.1.4 and just so you guys know iOS 7 beta 2 is available for your iPad so if you have an iPad and you've been waiting to upgrade to iOS 7 then you can definitely do it right now just by following this tutorial alright guys so you can see that I've upgraded successfully to 6.1.3 and I'll just go in here just to show you guys that I did do that let's go into general about Alright, so I'm on 6.1.3. Now the next step that you want to do is actually download the iOS 7 Beta 2 IPSW. So I'm going to put a link in the description below for you guys to see this, or for you guys to click on. So the link is going to bring you straight to this page. So as you can see, you have the iPhone 5, iPhone 5, these are the different models. And you have 4S, the 4, GSM, 4C, DMA. So you can see all right here, these are all beta 2. Make sure that it says beta 2. Down here are the beta 1s right here. So make sure that you have beta 2. You're going to find your model and then you're going to download it. You can either do direct download, that's going to download directly from the server, or if you have uTorrent, then you can use the torrent. So I'll show you what happens when you click on the torrent. I already have uTorrent installed on my computer. So it downloaded up here. And I'm just going to double click on this and it's going to open up uTorrent and then it's going to start downloading. So you can do it that way. All you have to do is click OK and then it's going to start downloading. Since I already have it, I'm not going to download it. Now if we go into the direct download, I'll show you that as well. So now if I was going to direct download it, first of all, I have the iPhone 4 GSM, so I want this one right here. So if I'm going to direct download it, just click right there. and then it gives you a countdown right here and then it's going to automatically start downloading so you just hit download click I agree with mega terms of service and then just hit download and it'll start downloading so it's as easy as that it's really not hard to get this I know there were a lot of people having troubles actually getting to the part where you can download it but I already have mine downloaded so I'm going to go into here okay so here's the iOS 7 beta 2 so I have that on my desktop now so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and open up iTunes once again and we're gonna go to the iPhone and then you're gonna click check for update always click check for update now on a PC you're gonna hold shift and you're gonna click it on a Mac you're going to hold option and click it so make sure you're updating to iOS 7 I have my iOS 6.1.3 here as well I'm going to be clicking on iOS 7 beta 2 because that's the one we want to upgrade to. It says it's going to update and verify it. So go ahead and click update. Now this process actually takes a long time so make sure that you give it ample time before you decide that it's not working and you want to try it again. Your best bet is just to leave it alone for 20 minutes after you start it. Go grab a cup of coffee or something like that. Just hang out and then come back to make sure that it's progressing.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Here's iOS 7 Beta 2. Now, you will notice I don't have any service that has nothing to do with upgrading to iOS 7 Beta 2. This is just a backup iPhone that I don't have connected to any type of data plan or anything like that, so it never has any service. The only one I have service on is my iPhone 5. So just to let you guys know that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time. Peace. Dude, no, 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 no. Just... God, whatever. This isn't gonna work. It worked! No! Oh my gosh! Go away! Oh, I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh my god! No, 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 no. What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 20 city of tweaks.